Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a huge Dollar Tree haul. It's actually kind of ridiculous the amount of stuff that I got. It's split between two trips that I made. I initially went looking for organizing things to put under my bathroom cabinet to just straighten it up a little bit. And the first Dollar Tree I went to didn't have any kind of organizing anything. So I went again on another day to a different Dollar Tree and not only did I find the organizing things I was looking for, but a lot more stuff. So I figured with this amount of stuff, I might as well make a video about it and show you what I got. Sometime while you're still here in this video, check out the description below. I have lots of stuff linked down there, my social media, my makeup, things I'm wearing, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check that out. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those. And I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It lets me know that you enjoy videos like this and I can keep making them. Okay, and like I said, I have a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to jump in, start pulling stuff out, showing you what I got, and I'm going to try to make this not too long so let's go ahead and get started so in this first bag the first thing I got was this red and white pattern scarf I thought this was really pretty and you know I don't have a whole lot of super light scarves like this and I like to wear them just to go over plain tops and for a dollar I thought it was cute it just says it was a fashion scarf so I got that and then the next thing was just this box of q-tips we were almost out when we moved and i just figured i'd pick some up now that we're here the next thing i got was this soft doll for amelia she's really into baby dolls right now and anything with a face really anytime i open a book that has a baby in it she will lean in and kiss it anytime i open my phone there's a picture of her and she'll like pull my phone up and kiss it and i just thought she would like this so I got that. The next thing I got was just another one of these fashion scarves. This one actually has potted herbs on it and I thought this was really cool and different and I thought it was really neat and I liked the colors in it so I got this one. And then I got Amelia this soft, it's like a squishy plastic material but it's just a book with a couple pages. She's in that stage where she's chewing on her cardboard books so I thought something that she could not bite chunks out of would be nice to give to her and let her play with. I got this pack of Purell hand sanitizing wipes. I like to keep small packs like this in my purse or in the diaper bag just for whatever. And then I got this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Chapstick. I was looking for a chapstick with an SPF and I know that I like Palmer's and I thought this was perfect and for a dollar I got that. The next thing I got was just this big bubble wand tray. You pour bubbles in here and then you can just wave the wand around and it will make bubbles. I thought Amelia would enjoy that. And then the last thing in that bag was just this Nivea cream lotion. I like to keep stuff like this in the diaper bag or my purse just to use on my cuticles or my hands or whatever. So I got that. And then the next thing I got were just these fancy heat burners. I'm sure you heard, but Florida got hit with Hurricane Irma and we were in its direct path and I did not know how long we would be out of power. So I thought these would be good if we had to cook something. And then the next things I got were just these storage things for under my sink. These little handles actually flip over and they will stack on top of each other, which was something I was looking for. I needed vertical space so that I had extra storage and I thought these were nice, so I got these. And the last thing in that bag was just this bottle of alcohol. I like to use this for all kinds of stuff and I did not have any of it because I somehow lost it in the move, so I got a bottle of that. On to the next bag, I got Amelia this little sandcastle bucket. I thought this would be cute to play with on the beach. She likes to play with it here at the house or in the pool. And it also came with this little shovel that she loves, so I got her that. And then I also got her this baby doll. She actually carried this one around the entire time we were in the store. And I actually have not been able to keep this one away from her. She's already been playing with it and she loves it. So definitely worth a dollar. So I got her that. And then I actually got this fidget spinner. I'm not really sure why I got this. I've never used one. And in every store they have them like almost locked up so people don't steal them. So I haven't even been able to play with one. 
So I just thought for a dollar I would grab this one and see what all the hoopla was about. And then the next things I got were just these two banana clips. I just like these to flip my hair up to keep it off my neck when it's really hot. So I got two of those. And then the last thing in that bag was just this bottle of Super Miracle Bubbles. I got this mainly to pour into that bubble tray that I got and it comes with its own wand. So I thought Amelia would have fun with these. So these next couple bags are a lot of food things. Like I said, we had the hurricane coming, so I grabbed a couple food items, mainly cans and non-perishables. But the first thing in the bag here are just these Betty Crocker little tiny like storage containers. I like to use these because a lot of times Amelia will have some food left over and it's really a pain to take up a whole big containers worth of space in the fridge for just something that would fit in one of these so i grabbed a couple of those and then i'm just going to run through the cans that i got really quick i got these fire roasted diced garlic tomatoes i got two of those i got this hunt's pasta sauce i got these pyroline cream filled wafers i think these are really good and i love finding them at the dollar tree I got another thing of pasta sauce. This is garlic and herb. And then I got this can of Rotel Original diced tomatoes with green chilies. And then I got this container of dried parsley flakes because we were out of these. And that's all that was in that bag. On to the next bag. I got two bags of oyster crackers, two packages of potato gnocchi. I think that's how you say it. I'm not positive, but I really like these, so I got them. And then the last thing in that bag was just this vase. I thought it looked like an old milk jug and I thought it was really nice. And I actually got it for something that I will show you here in a couple minutes. And then I got this bag of sriracha peas. I really like the wasabi peas, so I thought I would try these. And then I got two cans of just the original SpaghettiOs. They're the nice big cans. I like them, Amelia likes them, so I just went ahead and grabbed two of them. And then the last thing in that bag, some people might think these are kind of gross, but these are Vienna sausages, and I really like these. I grew up eating them. Amelia likes them. Aaron thinks they're disgusting, but I like them, so I got some of them. And I think that might be all of the food, but I could be wrong. But the next things I got were just these hair rollers. They actually, you can twist them around your hair. I got the biggest size, and I got two of them. I thought it would be nice to be able to wrap my hair up at night and have it done in the morning. I don't know how well they'll work, but we will see. And then I got these Betty Crocker measuring cups. Amelia has this one measuring cup that she got from her grandmother, and I figured I would go ahead and pick her up her own little set because she has a cabinet in the kitchen that is all dedicated to her with lots of plastic things, and I thought this would make a nice addition. And then I got this coffee mug. It's nice and big and I love that. And it says super mom because I am one. And I needed a new metal nail file. So I grabbed some of these and it actually came with a pack of four for a dollar. So I grabbed those. And then these were the last type of storage things that I got. They're actually really nice. They can either stack inside of each other or you flip them around and they will sit on top of each other. Again, giving me that extra vertical space to give me lots of room for storage. And I got three of those. And then the last thing in that bag were these two ice packs. I just went ahead and grabbed these in case for the hurricane, but we didn't actually end up using them, but we have them now in case we need them. And then I got these two plastic placemats for Amelia. This one has the Disney princesses on it and it says Dare to Dream. And then I got this Finding Nemo one with little Nemo down here and Dory. And I thought these would be nice to put at the table and pull her high chair right up to or just to let her play with. I'm sure we can find something to use them for. So I got them and I actually saw something extremely similar at another store like a day after I bought these for $3.50. So for a dollar, I'm glad I picked them up. And then I got Amelia this pink ball. She has a couple other ones that she kind of likes to play with. I might have gotten this more for myself, but we'll just pretend like I got it for her. So we grabbed that. And then in this next bag, the first thing was this Brillo Basic Squeegee. Our bathroom shower is glass, so I figured this would be easier than wiping it down with a towel. So I grabbed this. 
And then we grabbed this two pack of microfiber cleaning towels. I like to use these to clean with. Aaron uses them to clean the car. So we went ahead and grabbed those. And then I like to keep a backup loofah for both Aaron and I. So I got him this green and white one and I got me this pink and gold sparkly one. And then I got this pack of, it says it's an oral care kit. And honestly, the only thing in this that I wanted it for, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's just one of those metal teeth picks. And that's really all I wanted out of this. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I got this thing of dry shampoo. I'd never seen dry shampoo at the Dollar Tree before. So I thought I would try it out because I use a lot of it. And this one actually says it's compared to Dove hair therapy. So I thought, why not? And then the last thing in this bag was just this little pack of soft ponytail holders. Amelia is really starting to get some hair and I thought it's almost long enough to put it in a ponytail. So I wanted to get something soft and I thought I would try these. And then I also got for Amelia's hair this little set of, the main reason I got them were just these little colorful rubber bands right here. And then it comes with these little alligator clips, some more soft hair ties, and then some bigger hair ties that I could probably use. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then the next thing we got was just this handy chamois. Aaron likes to use this to clean the car, and the one we have is getting a little old. And this one says it holds more than five times its weight in liquid, so we will see how well this one works. And then the next thing was just this two pack of original super glue. I like to have this around the house just in case, so I got those. And then I got two packs of dry erase markers. This one is just a primary color and these ones are more rainbow colors. I just wanted some of these for random things, so I grabbed these. And then I got this six foot extension cord. It says it has three outlets. And the main reason I got this was to help me with filming because my studio lights do not have the longest cords on them. So I thought this would be nice just to give me a little bit more freedom with those and with chargers and things like that. So I got one of these. And then the last thing in that bag was actually another mug. I really liked this one. It's also bigger than normal, which I like. It is like this purple indigo color with the brown rim. And I just thought this was really nice. And for a dollar, I thought, you know, you can't beat that. So I got another mug. I don't even drink that much coffee, but I still got two mugs. Tell me how that makes sense. And those are the receipts. So we will just throw those away because nobody wants to see those. And then the last things I got was just a bunch of these fake flowers. And I liked them because they have like a burlap material on the top of them and it just adds a little extra detail. And I put this bouquet together. I thought it looked really fall and even though it did like fall here, I thought I wanted to get into the fall spirit just a little bit. And so I put this little bouquet together. I could fill it with some kind of rocks. I didn't think about that until just now. I didn't realize how much extra space is down here, but I guess I could take another trip to the Dollar Tree and get something to fill this with, but I just thought this would look really pretty. And once I get it all situated, I think it will look really nice somewhere here in the house. Okay, that was everything I have here with me that I got from the Dollar Tree. There were some other things like candy and some chips that did not survive long enough to make it into this video, but I'm sure I had plenty enough stuff to make this a long enough video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me your favorite thing to find at the Dollar Tree. And please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I upload videos every single week and I would love it if you joined me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.